Hello everyone, this is Priyanka. Welcome to my channel Automation with Priyanka. Today in this video, I will be discussing about APM. So APM which is very popular tool, very popular framework for mobile application testing. So I will be discussing very first what exactly APM it is and uh, architecture of APM in this video. And then practical part we will see in the next session in the next video. So guys, mobile application testing has become popular in software testing industry in last few years. So thousands of applications are developed, released and downloaded, you know, every day. So testing mobile application becomes again crucial part. And after manual testing, let's say after certain number of releases, we need to do automation testing. So for automating mobile application, there are again different, you know, tools, frameworks available. But APM is one of the most popular one, right? So I will be covering training for APM through which you can test any mobile application. APM is one of the most popular and it is an open source automation testing framework. Basically using APM, you can test any native application, hybrid application or any mobile web application. Guys, internally APM latest version that 2.x, right? It is totally based on Selenium web driver. So internally APM uses Selenium protocol and that's the reason all Selenium supported features are simply supported by APM2. Technically APM is completely cross-platform testing tool. You can test through the APM any native application, let's say on a platform, Android platform, iOS platform, in fact on a web platform right that's all about the windows desktop platform so apm is a cross platform testing tool apm support multiple programming language whatever languages selenium support like java python c sharp ruby perl php right everything supported by the apm in fact in apm you can write a script only once and we can run it on any platform like same like selenium you know simply perform so apm support three common platform iOS platform, Android platform, plus Windows platform, right? And with the help of these, you can test any mobile application. So technically, APM is what? APM is a Node.js server, which exposes some REST API. Guys, APM is a free tool, open source tool, and which we can use to test any native mobile web and hybrid application. Just now we have seen it is a cross platform, even it supports multiple programming language. Now let's talk about what is native, what is mobile web and hybrid application. Native application mostly these are the platform specific. So any application designed only for the Android, okay, let's say any application designed only for the iOS platform, those application we can call it as native application. So native applications are created to run on a single operating system in simple work, right? So absolutely due to the outstanding performance of native application, you will always get user experience guaranteed. It is always quick and faster. So native applications, again applications which are designed for specific platform. A very simple example, we have an app store for iOS platform. We have a Play Store for Android platform. Similarly, okay, there are other applications you can take like any specific application when we say Spotify, right? It's again a native application. Even you can say Hive application, which is native application, right? What does mobile web? Mobile web applications are nothing but see, every web application needs a browser. So any web application like which simply rely on a browser rather than operating system those application we can call mobile web application so guys amazon flipkart right facebook all these are what simple web applications only netflix right even we can take a simple example of google docs these are again what mobile web applications only so web application performance wise if you just talk yes response of web application is quite slower than native application okay and web applications we can develop quickly as it is you know like uh, 
least uh, we can say expensive and it developed quickly okay because it's all about the small small applications we are going to develop and design and we are going to test it so with respect to native i can say mobile application development is quick development when it comes to the hybrid hybrid is nothing but application which design and run on a several platform as well as several operating system so technically hybrid is a combination of native as well as mobile web application even hybrid applications sometimes you know it's a uh, performance wise it is slower than native okay cost again cost for hybrid application is again lower than native but still hybrid applications you can take a simple example all the live applications like instagram twitter gmail ola uber all these comes under hybrid application so apm is a tool apm is one of the very popular open source automation framework with the help of this you can test any of these application right most commonly native mobile web and hybrid applications we can test using apm so apm is very popular but now it is time to understand architecture of the apm guys let me tell you apm architecture needs apm client three component apm architecture needs apm server and device so first of all it is totally based on the client server communication agree so we have a apm client basically apm client is based on the client library right apm support multiple programming language we are using here java so we have a java client library available when you set up your project using java client library which is provided by apm then you are able to write a apm script correct so through the client we are able to prepare our script and then script will pass to the server right whenever we have a client and server communication we need a protocol for communication and here we use web driver protocol that's the current version of web driver protocol is w3c world wide web consortia protocol right so with the help of web driver protocol we pass a request to the server server exposes rest api by understanding client request server will connect or server will create a session with that specific device now when it comes to the device guys apm can test application directly on a real device yes suppose any real device is not available in that case we can use some virtual devices like for android application we have emulator even for you know ios application we have simulator so with the help of emulator simulator also apm can connect the session once the session is created server send session id to the client and client can follow that session id for the further communication but whatever result is coming from the device server send back to the client so in a simple way communication is happen internally in this apm architecture but guys apm is itself server right it is designed as a node js server so server needs some information to create a session and that is provided through the apm client in the form of certain key and the value pair technically this key value pair it is nothing but we are able to pass it using desire capability okay so desire capabilities are technically okay this is a class in selenium with the help of this we can simple pass our main information like some important properties to the server okay like to which platform we need to connect to which device we need to connect that information we are passing as a json object to this apm server apm server listen the command and then it creates a session so technically how the architecture it is just have a look this is a apm2 latest version architecture which removes support for non w3c command so previously in apm1 version we we were using json wire protocol but you can see in apm latest version we are using web driver protocol which is w3c protocol so guys how how exactly this communication happen just have a look so initially client initiate the session right using desire capability as i mentioned desire capabilities which are key value pair 
which encoded in the form of json object and then that json object which simple like all the information whatever there in desired capability which tells the apm server okay for what platform we are expecting that you know connection to be established so basically some information which is server requires for the connectivity can i say that like desired capability tells the apm server for which platform request it is whether it is for android or whether it is for ios application or ios platform which device to be connect which application to automate right so with this information apm client send the request you know post the request to that particular apm server and then server listens that command server understand whatever it is provided by the desired capability and then server forward their entire request to that specific device right that device could be real device emulator simulator as per their platform so technically whatever response it is coming from that device it will again send back to the client so apm is a node js http server that uses rest api and client and server technically they are interacting with each other using rest api which is totally controlled by selenium web driver protocol so guys this is your apm web driver or we can say apm architecture a latest architecture for apm 2.0 there is a one more point i would like to mention whenever we are passing request to any android device most commonly android and ios testing right so absolutely whenever we are passing request to the android so internally android is based on one popular framework that is ui automator 2 framework in fact ios application is based on a framework xcui test xcui test framework so with the help of ui automator 2 these are the this is a framework for android application and xui test this is a framework for ios application so internally we are interacting with this framework and then we are able to connect the session and then finally we are able to see the response on that apm client so it will generate some status log right and whatever server whenever connectivity is established you will get a session id again back to the client so practically how this architecture works right how many different component are required that we have already seen in the previous video like those are completely new follow the previous video for the installation of apm where we need some important component like first of all you should install web driver i mean this apm server not web driver it's a apm server second you need to install your for emulators android studio then guys internally we need apm inspector where we can locate the mobile web elements so apm inspector also you need to install and then you need to set up your you know the driver you need to install ui automated to driver to and in fact you need to set up path of the sdk okay your software development kit into your environment variable right eclipse environment variable so in fact we have completed that architecture we have completed the setup for apm now in the next video i will explain you practically how to use apm to create first session first request for any mobile application thanks for watching this video that's all for this video guys thank you